Forrester is a great tool for adding foliage to your 3D scenes in Cinema 4D, but it can quickly slow down your scene file when you're using the multi-cloner object for scattering. When you're rendering in Redshift, you can use the Redshift Matrix Scatter with effectors to achieve the same results as the multi-cloner while maintaining a very speedy viewport and render times. Collect the Forrester objects you'd like to scatter under one null labeled Instances. Select the object tag on the Redshift Matrix object and add the Forrester objects as custom particles by clicking the Picker icon and selecting each object. Select the Matrix object and click the Object tab. Change the Mode parameter to Object. Drop the geometry you'd like to scatter your foliage on into the Object window. Adjust the count number to what you think will be appropriate. Turn on the Redshift Render view to preview the scatter. Your objects will probably have the incorrect alignment, so select the Transform tab of the Matrix object and rotate them negative 90 degrees under the Pitch parameter. Now add a plane effector to the scene. Under the Parameter tab, turn off the Position and Rotation. Under Scale, select the Uniform Scale checkbox and change the Scale value to negative 1. This will scale all the matrix particles to 0. Now you can add fields under the falloff tab to art direct which areas of your geometry will populate with particles. Make sure all of the field blending modes are set to max so that they're not overriding each other. You can add a random effector to the matrix to randomize the scale and rotation of your scattered particles. That was a quick intro to using the Redshift Matrix Scatter to incorporate a large number of Forrester assets into a scene without slowing it down. If you found this video helpful, throw me a like down below and subscribe for more tutorials.